ladies. I'm so excited to talk about the denim trends that are completely out of style in 2023. This is probably one of the most common questions I get from you guys like, Heather, which denim trends are gonna be in style? Are skinny jeans in style? Are they out of style? So if you're a denim lover like me, then you have come to the right spot because I'm gonna be sharing the five denim styles that are completely out of style in 2023. These are denim silhouettes that you should definitely dig but along with that, I'm also going to be sharing some amazing denim styles that are super hot and on trend in 2023. Also a few classic silhouettes as well. And if you don't know, I am literally denim obsessed. I'm a denim lover. You can see my denim wall here in my closet. I own way too many pairs of jeans. I will admit it. In fact, you know what? If I admit, if I have one vice, it's probably that I buy too many pairs of jeans. But in my defense, I literally wear jeans every single day so it is safe to say that I am definitely a denim expert. Now make sure you listen to this entire video because denim silhouette number five is a big one that people question all the time. Heather, is this denim silhouette still in style? So definitely stick around for that one because that is absolutely the most popular question I get is if this specific style of denim is going to be in style in 2023. And if you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning visitor, thank you so much for your support and if you haven't already please hit that little subscribe button down below because I do publish a brand new video every single week and I did start my channel to help women just like you look and feel like the best versions of themselves because I believe no matter what our age we all deserve to look and feel confident okay denim trend number one that is completely out of style is overly frayed hemlines so we saw those i would say like at the beginning of 2022 definitely 2021 like the long frayed hemline i would say that is definitely out of style and i would ditch that denim silhouette if i were you Instead, I would opt for a minimal fraying on the hemline, which is basically like you can barely even tell that they're frayed at all, but they are a little sort of undone looking, a little edgy looking, and a little effortless looking. So these are my favorite jeans by A Gold E. They're the A Gold E Pinch Waist, and they're a straight leg, which means they have a really high waist. And what high-waisted denim does, ladies, is it makes your legs look longer. The reason is because the waistline sits above the belly button, creating an illusion of longer legs. I know some of you say, like, Heather, I don't love high-waisted denim, but trust me, just try on one pair, please, I beg you, and if you try them on, I promise you will love them. Now, I realize not every high rise is for everybody, so you know what, maybe you do a 10-inch rise instead of an 11 or a 12-inch rise if you don't want to go for that uber high-waisted jean. I totally get it. These are are definitely uber high-waisted they have a 12 inch rise maybe even a 12 and a half inch rise but I absolutely love them I love the light wash it's perfect to wear all year round but it really will transition well into spring and summer as well I paired these jeans with a simple long sleeve ivory bodysuit from Express under $50 so what a great deal and this is a statement making silver faux leather blazer by ALC. You guys, I love this blazer. It's a statement maker for sure. It looks good with sort of lighter colors, but then you can also pair it over like an all black ensemble for a really fantastic outfit as well. But these are probably the most uh, popular style of denim silhouette that we're going to see in 2023, and that is the high-waisted straight leg silhouette. Now, another pair of jeans by A Gold E, which I love, are the Riley's. This is a little bit of a darker wash. I would say these are a medium wash, so you can wear them all year round. And as you'll see, the hemline is slightly sort of frayed, but not too much at all. It's just sort of barely, you know, distressed, which I love. There are also no rips in these jeans, so if you're somebody who doesn't love wearing ripped denim, these would be a great option. I also love these jeans because they're perfect to pair with ankle booties, so I find myself wearing these most often in the fall and winter because that's when I typically wear ankle booties is when it's cold outside. The reason these are good for ankle booties is they're a bit on the crop side, but they're not too cropped. So for reference, I am five foot four, and as you can see, these hit me slightly above my ankle bone. They are also high-waisted though, and they are a straight leg. 
I paired him with the same ivory bodysuit I had on earlier, and then this is a cozy camel teddy coat. I have featured this before on my channel, but I wanted to feature it again because it's probably one of my most worn jackets in the winter time. It's cozy, it's chic, it's a bit oversized, so it's very fashion forward. And when I say I feel like I'm wrapped up in a cozy blanket when I wear this jacket, like that would be an understatement. I just love wearing it because I feel so good when I wear it. The best part, you guys can get 20% percent off with my special code which will be linked down below in my description box and as always ladies if there's ever anything on the expensive side I will always be linking a steel version as well because I believe no matter what your budget you should be able to shop on my channel okay denim trend number two that is out of style in 2023 are the uneven hemlines you know what I'm talking about the hemline that's a little bit shorter in the front and longer in the back like that's definitely dated. If you want to look more modern and more fresh, I would say stick to a hemline that's the same, you know, width all the way around. So as you can see, these girlfriend jeans, these are a cargo jean, but there is no step hem. The hemline is the same length all the way around. And cargo jeans are another denim silhouette that's going to be huge in 2023. These are like the most flattering style of cargo jeans I could find. I've tried on tons of them. And what I found was is that most of them are too big and too baggy and they're not very flattering. But these by Girlfriend Denim, which is sold on Revolve, love this brand of denim. They're high waisted and they have a slightly tapered leg these are certainly not tight by any means they are just a form-fitting straight leg denim silhouette but the ankles are slightly tapered which makes these jeans super duper flattering i love this medium wash and again the cargo jean is going to be super hot in 2023 I paired him with this awesome light beige faux fur jacket. This one is also from Revolve. It is on back order, but if you order it, you don't have to wait maybe like two to three weeks, that's it, to get in this fabulous jacket. And ladies, let me say this, every single time I wear this jacket, I always get compliments or I get stopped and people say, oh my gosh, where did you get that jacket? So if you love it as much as I do, I would say go grab it now quick before it sells out. Another style of denim that has an interesting hemline, but it is not a step fray because again, I said stay away from those. These have a really cool slit up the ankle and they are a high-waisted flare jean by EB Denim. You guys, I love these jeans. The wash is very cool. It's a unique wash, very distressed, very vintage inspired, but again, there's still no rips in them. So if you're a woman who doesn't wanna wear ripped jeans, these would be a great option because they still look worn, they still look effortless, but there's no rips in them. And what really makes them unique is that super cool slit up the ankle. I paired him with this fabulous white tweed blazer, which is actually what I'm wearing right now. This is a great blazer by Endless Rose. So the price point is amazing, but because it's tweed, it's a high quality wrinkle-free material, this white blazer looks way more expensive than it really is. It kind of has Chanel vibes because of the tweed material. It is a bit oversized, but it's not like too oversized. And that's another trend we're gonna be seeing in 2023 is oversized blazers. I'm about to do a trend video for all the fabulous trends, so stay tuned for that. Okay, the next denim silhouette that is out of style in 2023 are overly ripped jeans. You know the ones I'm talking about, like tons of rips up and down both legs. Now, I get this question a lot. Am I too old to wear ripped jeans? And here's my answer. I am 49 years old and I still wear ripped denim and I will probably still be wearing ripped jeans when I'm 59 years old. The reason is it just matches my personality style. It matches my fashion sense. If you don't feel good when you wear ripped jeans, then don't wear them. It's that simple. I always say, just check in with your inner knowing and do you feel like the best version of yourself when you wear something? If the answer is yes, then by all means wear it no matter what your age is. Because remember ladies, age is just a number. So I would say opt for a minimally ripped jeans if you want to look more modern and fresh in 2023. And these are my favorite ripped jeans. These are by Anina Bing. They're a high-waisted sort of baggier silhouette. Again, this is gonna be huge in 2023. The baggier silhouette, high-waisted for sure. And even puddled on the floor is another thing that we're seeing are these puddled hem lines. So you don't wanna get your jeans hemmed. You want them to kind of touch the floor a little bit. These are very cool jeans, but as you can see, they're not overly ripped. 
There's just a few rips in them, which I think makes them absolutely perfect. Now the key to wearing baggy jeans is to make sure that you pick a top that is fitted and make sure you tuck in your shirt and bonus points if you add a belt. So this sweater is from Express. It's on sale right now for under $50. It's fully stocked. So what a steal for such a great top. You don't have to wear it off the shoulder. You can wear it normal too if you would like. And then I just did an ivory belt and then some fabulous metallic heels. Okay, denim trend number four that's out of style in 2023 are over cropped hemlines specifically the cropped flare so I don't know about you but this is like the most unflattering style of denim silhouette on the market hands down I don't see why they still sell it and I honestly don't see why people still wear it and I see women still wearing it on the street and if you love them again if you feel good in them you feel confident in them then by all means you should wear them I just don't love the way they look on me I think maybe I'm too short to wear them and I just don't think they're very flattering because there is a flare that's hitting you right in the middle of your calf or a little bit low and sometimes that's actually the most wide part of our calf so that is like super unflattering plus the fact that the flare hemline doesn't come all the way down to the floor is going to cut off your leg it's going to break up that long lean line that could be created by wearing a long flare that actually hits the floor or is a hair above it so I would say if you're going to do a flare do a flare that hits the floor or is just like an eighth of an inch off the floor that's what I always tell my tailor when I take my flare jeans to get hemmed I say I just want them a hair off the floor and that's it so you guys these jeans are insanely flattering probably the most slimming jeans I own in my closet in fact I'm gonna go out on a limb and say they will make you look up to at least five pounds slimmer these are by Spanx yes you heard me right Spanx does make denim and these are phenomenal they're high-waisted the material is thick enough so that it holds everything in it gives you a butt lift like they look good from the front they look good from the back and ladies the the high-waisted flare is hands down the most universally flattering style of denim because it is a little bit high-waisted like I said and the hemline hits the floor so it gives this long lean illusion of your legs looking longer and you looking slimmer and taller so so many bonus things by wearing these jeans I absolutely love them I can't recommend them enough if you only add one pair of jeans to your denim collection in 2023 these would be my choice I wanted to show you all how versatile they were. I've paired them with three different things. The first one is this beautiful satin cropped blazer by Alice and Olivia. You guys, how beautiful is this pink color? And pink is going to be huge in 2003, by the way. Then I did a black leather jacket. This is by Karen Millen. You guys can also get 20% off this amazing black leather jacket with the gold hardware. I've had this jacket for a couple months now and I'm obsessed and literally wear it all the time. The other thing I paired these Spanx jeans with is this really cool brown sweater from Revolve. This is a great cutout sweater, very tastefully sexy. You could top it with a jacket if you would like to really elevate the look, but I loved it with the ivory belt. I really love how that created a contrast. And then I just did a pointy toe metallic pump to really finish off the look. But I love this brown sweater. It's perfect for a date night or a girl's night out. Okay, the last denim trend, the one we've all been waiting for, and this is one, like I said, that I get questions about a ton, and that is, are skinny jeans still in style? And I will have to say that the low rise skinny jean is absolutely out of style in 2023. I'm not saying ditch all of your skinny jeans. I'm saying ditch the ones that are low waisted and more of like a jegging, like that super tight skinny jean. Those will definitely make you look dated and they are absolutely out of style. I would swap them for the modern skinny jean. When I say the modern skinny jean, I'm gonna give you two examples in the following two looks, but what that means is it's high-waisted and it's more of a slim tapered leg as opposed to like a super tight jegging leg so these are the citizen of humanity jolene jeans they're a high-waisted slim sort of tapered leg i love these jeans for a perfect example of what the modern skinny jean is. They're super comfortable. They have a button fly. They don't have any rips in them. So they're clean, they're versatile. They go with so many different things. I wear them with sneakers. I wear them with booties and you can even wear them with heels and knee high boots. So super versatile, like I said, when it comes to which type of shoe you can wear with these jeans. 
I paired these jeans with this fabulous uh, cashmere sweater by Lily Silk. You guys, I love this sweater. It's comfortable, it's easy, it's neutral, so it's gonna go with so many different things. And anytime I wear a sweater, I always love tucking it in in the front, just doing like that half tuck, because it's really gonna create a waist, gonna give you a waistline, versus if I were to just leave the sweater untucked, I could end up looking a bit frumpy. And then I topped it with this fabulous faux fur blazer by Allison Olivia, so cozy and warm perfect for the winter months. And then these are some Dolce Vita uh, pointy toe ankle booties. So I love a modern skinny jean with ankle booties. Um, and I love these under $100 ankle booties by Dolce Vita. They have a really great chunky heel. So they're extremely comfortable. Like I can literally wear these boots all day long and my feet never hurt. Okay, the last pair of modern skinny jeans that I wanna talk about, these are by Good American. So again, a high-waisted, more slim-fitting silhouette. They do have two really tiny rips in the knees, so they really don't look like they're ripped when you're standing, but when you walk, you can kinda of see the rips a little bit. So I think they're just perfectly done. I love this medium wash because you can literally wear them all year round. They're also very comfortable. They have a bit of stretch to them, but they're not gonna stretch out. I've had these jeans for a while now. I've worn them a ton and they have held their shape really, really well. So highly recommend these jeans by Good American. Another great thing about these jeans is they come in plus sizes too. So I love that. You know, I think everybody loves these Good American jeans. I have several friends that wear them and swear by them. So highly recommend these modern skinny jeans. I paired them with this really cool gold and faux for a jacket from Revolve. You guys, I love this jacket. It's sold out and it's been restocked. I think it is on pre-order, but you don't have to wait that long to get it. This is another one of those jackets that anytime I wear it, I literally get stopped and asked like, where did you get that fabulous jacket? So definitely a statement making jacket, perfect for fall and winter if you live somewhere cooler because it's got this really cozy faux fur lining and I'm obsessed with the gold metallic shade. Those were the five denim trends completely out of style in 2023. Let me know what your favorite new denim trend is that you're most excited to try this, this year because I always love hearing from you guys. For more style information, you can head over to SoHeather.com and on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. I hope all of you have a beautiful day because you deserve it and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.